grave, more demo era. Haven't really fully reached the first album because, well, then I guess Putrefaction would be more chronological, uh, at least conversationally. 89, yeah. That, yeah, so you said that was more of a side project, so then where did that come from? It was basically, I don't know if what what uh, info you have on that one, but it was a guy <laughs> we'll called <see>. Jonas. <laughs> it was a guy, a friend of ours, Jonas, who was, uh, who had a, uh, yes. him, 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 Jens, and Ola. Yeah, yeah, that's got, what it says. They, they got drunk one night and and was in his garage with the, in the rehearsal place and they just did three songs one night. And then they to like the day after they 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 called and said, "Oh, we got three more songs. We need we go and record it. You can can you come and uh, play the guitar? <laughs> need a second guitar? <laughs> yeah, sure. So we went to uh, down to our rehearsal place and recorded it. <laughs> so just a <laughs> drunk it. night, nice. And one of the uh, most sought after. Uh, de- I mean, isn't J Dogs like fa- one of his favorite demos of all time or something? It, I mean, if it isn't his, I love it. Yeah. I mean, like, what was like the, what it, it, uh, I'm sorry, I was going to say Ola, my, I forgot the per, the Swedish pronunciation, but it doesn't matter. His vocals on there are, are, are far more like, they're just, I don't know, they're crazy. <laughs> I, yeah. love, I just love it. Like, you know, I, I forget what song where it's just like, it sounds like a T-Rex. Just, <laughs> like, it's just like, what the, <laughs> so I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, it, it, it embodies a character of its own, uh, and, which is basically everything we're talking about. Like that, that's like, like I said, I, I truly always kind of noticed that about you know, like stuff that you're involved with. Like, yeah, it's it does not fit the typical Swedish mold. It was always yeah, it's something a little more brutal or something. Yeah, and uh, maybe it, maybe it is that like death and autopsy influence and that blood feast that he's that he. Well, it's also you know, like, who you hang out with, kind of thing. Right. Um. So, but but yeah, I but I, wh- so how do you feel though about the vocals uh, on the picture faction? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's super extreme. <laughs> but we always changed vocal uh, vocals uh, on the early demos. It was me, Ola, and Jensa did almost every time one song each or so. Oh, okay. Uh, so it was no surprise. I knew Ola uh, <laughs> did vocals, but <laughs> but they came out great on that recording for sure. And then you had another uh, side project too, wasn't it? Like grinding death or something, or uh, yeah, something like exactly. that. Exactly. There was also just a drunken <laughs> night and did re- <laughs> nothing else to do than recording grindcore songs. So that was just was you just guys hanging so out. Stupid. Yeah. Huh? So that was just you guys hanging out, being creative yeah. and and having a good time, really. Yeah. That's crazy. Basically. Well, Not- it was just. Stupid, <laughs> but fun. I fun. mean, nobody could say that you're not productive when you're drunk. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, like you said, that's a highly sought after demo. That if you had a closet full of original demo tapes, <laughs> yeah. hey, you'd be re- you'd be, getting, <laughs> you'd be financing your drunken future. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least good. <laughs> Man, so now we're Maybe pretty I much shouldn't promote drinking though. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> this episode don't try about... it at home. <laughs> yes, or try it only at home. I don't yeah, know. Only I don't home. know where. <laughs> See, we don't even know how to sell it properly. <laughs> we are not the spokesman. Well, so then, I think we're probably by the point of Graves first album, right? Yeah, in the, into the grave. Yeah, and it's the promos or whatever. Yeah, minus the promos. Uh, but so I can, uh, we, we, let's uh, have a word on uh, the third demo too, because th- that's when we have discovered Carcass. Uh, oh, good. Yes, let's. Yeah. Now I gotta I gotta look at it again to be like, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Th- yeah, that is definitely. Uh, I, I could see it now. <laughs> I could say putrefaction and the and the third demo is definitely a lot of Carcass and stuff like that. I mean, you really can't just see a visual representation now that you've said that, that like by the, you know, as the, the progression of the demos, because it has all the photos on the back of this LP. I have that LP, but I, I can't remember how it looked like. Actually. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, But then, so yeah, these aren't even official then, because then, well then, because Session Media has d- put out a collection, right? Of yeah. uh, grave demos. Is Putrefaction yeah. even on that? In the corpse? I got to know. <laughs> Not sure, really. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. I have a, bo- a book tape cassette box here. That's oh, cool. I, 
a Finnish uh, record label released it. Ah, well, that's, that's actually very nice. Yeah. Oh, set. cool. Yeah, and then, then mimics like the originals. Uh, like a, it's a yeah. um, replica. Exactly. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Who put that out? Huh? Who put that out? Uh, Floga. Oh, Floga. Records. Yeah, they've been doing a lot, a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've been seeing it at Hell's. Yeah, they well, do a good job. Yeah, and, and that looked like uh, awesome. I, I, I know which exactly one now you're talking about, but I haven't, I haven't looked at it that closely, so I, I want to go look at it. Uh, but it, I think it's exactly the same as uh, Central Media did, but they get the rights to do the cassette version. Gotcha. So, I, what is that like then to be? You know, here we are. We got the story of this. I mean, it's just essentially, yeah, guys, either they're drunk or they're kids, blah blah blah. That like years later, it's being put out on LPs, and then they want to do a collection release i mean like how does that feel like to be at this point in time and that stuff's like going on like i'm sure you never thought that that would be the case <laughs> no no <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but i i'm not sure i'm not, i can't i just couldn't really i can't really say what we thought when we were 16 17 or you know in the teens what we thought it's going to happen but i'm we we were you know looking for forward all the time and we wanted to have a record out and we wanted to go you know be a you know re release records and stuff but looking back, back now when I'm soon 50 I didn't <laughs> think it would happen really no when I listened to it I was like ah, okay maybe now, now no it's it's a slim chance that this kind of music would you know break through right yeah is, is there any things that you listen to now, uh, like some of those demos or some of the early stuff where you just like smack your head and go, oh man, this is rough? Or do you really no. just find, is it like a fond, a fond memory, you know? No, and yeah, I don't really, no, I don't just, uh, feel embarrassed of it. Yeah. Never. Good. No. You shouldn't. <laughs> no. But like to be, so like we. More, more surprised sometimes when I listen to it because. <laughs> So when I listened to the first grave demo, I was like, "Wow, how how were we thinking? You know, when we wrote those songs, because I I would never write write a song like that today. Right, right. right. To right. get you to know, the, I could, yeah. could never come up with those riffs again. And you know, I was like, "Oh, that that was some great ideas, but <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> how do how, you know? Just yeah, that's awesome. young and creative, as you said. You know, we just." That's what we did. We didn't do much else than hanging around in the rehearsal room and yeah. recording stuff. But you said you had uh, like this LP then, and and I don't know if you said you've seen this or had that, but like, how does that like? Obviously, it's like not official. It, it lacks a, cr a proper demo, <laughs> maybe even some yeah. information. Like, you know, when you see that though, is it like, is it flattering? Does it piss you off? Like, what what is like? How does that feel? A little bit of both. It <laughs> depends on what they release, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean the demos. I don't, I don't get pissed off at that because it's uh, uh, still, you know, I'm not embarrassed about them. Right. You know, it's a time. I recall it. It's it, what it is. What it is. What it is from that time, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, some, some I seen some bootlegs with live recordings that totally suck. You know, I can't really, <laughs> can't really, you know. Why would they ever <laughs> bother to put that out? Because it sounds like shit, you know. But do you embody the fan spirit that, like, favorite bands of yours that you would collect a ass-sounding bootleg as well? Of course, I did just buy some bootlegs over the years that don't sound that good. So, uh... <laughs> so at least you understand. The I, I guess. I guess I understand, but <laughs> but it's my music. I can't yeah, understand yeah. why. They're... Something that I played and sounds like shit. Right. Yeah. 